Hello and welcome to this Wednesday edition of Beer Bros. And happy Cuatro de Mayo. Yeah, one day away from Cinco de Mayo. So, with that being said, we try out some fajitas that we grilled up. With no labels hatch chili beer. So we have no labels hatch chili beer that we use in making these grilled fajitas. And we also did some veggies along with that. So here's how we did it. Cut up one bell pepper. One half onion. Put those in foil. Three quarters cup of Italian dressing sprinkled onion powder and garlic powder. One cup of Dessel Breweries counterclockwise. We took one pound of skirt steak and put it in a marinade which consisted of the following. Three quarters cup of Italian dressing one half bottle of no label hatch chili beer. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Three tablespoons of steak seasoning of your choice. Two ounces of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of chili powder. We wrap that up with the marinade and refrigerated it overnight to cook the fajitas and the vegetables. We brought our grill to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as the pit was lit, we took the vegetables and placed them in a tray on direct heat. The fajitas cooked for three to four minutes on each side or until done. We took them off and served warm. All right, Keith. Now that we've seen how the magic was made, let's see how it tastes. And I have all the fixings here for this Quattro de Mayo. I guess if you're not akin to me handling your tortillas, that's okay. Okay, grab as much as you want or as little as you'd like. We can smell all the seasonings that are going into this. Keith, smell? Well. Mm. I guess we should have done it before we put the ugly chipotle on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get a strong sensation of the onions and all, yeah. the, all the vegetables, yeah. primarily, first and foremost, out of anything. So that's going to be a lot of your primary smells. Okay. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay. Thank you, eating. Taco. Taco smash. So flavorful explosion. Get all the sweet taste of the vegetables and the the uh, boiled down beer. It's a good mix of spicy and sweet, mm -hmm. the, uh, especially the onions that contribute to the sweetness of the entire thing. So it's a, a great balance. The hatch beer really, really comes out in this, in the, in the fajitas alone. So it's, uh, it's an awesome combination. It's not spicy, but it, you can tell that the, the beer element of the fajitas are intact as on the... Uh, <clears throat> you can definitely tell the beer element of the fajitas are definitely is definitely there. That's one thing to consider when you're cooking with this uh, new no-label hatch chili beer. It, is, it might leave a little bit of residual spice, but it doesn't really add too much. So Well, there are other chili beers that we could have cooked with that would have made a significant difference. If we had oh, done yeah. Billy's Chili's, that would have... Uh, oh, man. Or... Ghostface Killer, that would have killed us. Would have killed us both. Yeah. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you on Friday for our final beer grilled product of the week. Until then, Beer Bros out. <laughs>